So today we have a pretty interesting report to say the least because we have information that maybe the 14 inch MacBook Pro could have M1 instead of the M1X we've come to expect. Yes, I know this is very confusing news, but of course, as usual, let's delve into this and pick apart this leak. And so without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe, click that notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so the source of this leak is Mary QHD. I've personally spoken to the guy. He's pretty reliable when it comes to Android leaks, and he does have some sources within Apple that have been somewhat credible in the past. Anyways, delving in, the report says the Intel machines we have right now, so mainly the MacBooks, well, they'll get the M1 treatment very soon. Although, as you can see, there is the use of a few salt emojis, and so take this information with a grain of salt. And with that being said, let's discuss what this could possibly mean. So first of all, I think we can leave the 16-inch MacBook Pro out of this equation because it's fair to say the 16-inch is focused towards prosumers, and so it will undoubtedly come with some sort of modified, more powerful version of the M1. But... I do see the possibility of the 14 inch version coming with M1 instead. And so let's delve into why, right? So going back to a report I did a month ago, I delved into a leak from McGuire Wood that said that apparently we could be seeing a full port M1 13 inch MacBook Pro sometime during March. But essentially what I inferred from that report was that maybe we could see two refreshes this year, maybe one with a simple chip refresh, much like what we saw in November. And then of course, the redesign we've all been waiting for. This would actually make some sense to me because A, Apple loves refreshing the MacBook line. For example, we saw, I think three refreshes in one year at one point, and especially with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, don't forget that replaced the 15 inch a mere six months after its launch. So yes, Apple will undoubtedly give us as many MacBook refreshes as they want. And so they can give us two models this year if they want to. And B, there is a whole argument behind Apple wanting to, of course, take advantage of the growth they're seeing in the Mac lineup because of course, everybody's working from home. And so there is a clear demand for MacBooks. And so getting these new Apple Silicon chips across the range as fast as possible might be the best thing to do. And so giving us a small refresh for now and then focusing on the redesigns later in the year, that does make a lot of sense. I mean, think about it. There are a bunch of people watching this video who are probably ready to buy the new MacBooks, but they're waiting for the Apple Silicon refresh. And that undoubtedly is hurting Apple's bottom line because there are a bunch of people stalling their upgrades and waiting for the Apple Silicon models. And so releasing them as fast as possible might be the best thing to do. Plus, another point I have is, of course, the price. We have no idea about the price of the redesign. Of course, there are many ways of interpreting what Apple could do. Either they could save money with Apple Silicon and that could offset the costs of a redesign and mini LED. Or maybe Timothy will take advantage of this opportunity and hike the prices. And so I think there will be a large majority of consumers who don't really want a redesign and just want Apple Silicon in the existing machines at the same price. And so these small refreshes could actually be somewhat popular. I mean, for example, I just need the ports. That's pretty much why I've been put off by the M1 Air and the M1 Pro we have right now. And so if the price hike really is that bad, then I'll undoubtedly just buy a four port 13 inch MacBook Pro with M1 instead. Anyways, my second point as to why this leak could be legit is maybe we could see some sort of low end version of the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So I discussed this in a previous video, which of course you can check out in the icon above. But basically I said that of course, Apple can't keep the M1 MacBook Pro we have right now because it has a touch bar. And of course the more higher end redesigns won't have this feature. And so it would look pretty odd in the lineup. And so I've been kind of contemplating that maybe we could see a 14 inch low end version of the MacBook Pro to replace the current existing 
M1 MacBook Pro. And maybe to offset costs and keep it at the same price, Apple would reuse the same M1 chip, but of course refresh the design. This is entirely plausible in my opinion because the M1 is a great chip, I think. It's perfect for a lot of people. And at the entry level price, it's more than capable and will be for the foreseeable future. I feel like there would be a lot of consumers who would opt for the low end M1 14 inch MacBook Pro because a lot of us don't need the extra horsepower of the M1X. Some are just waiting for the redesign. And so they could opt for this being a much cheaper alternative instead. Another theory I also have about the 14 inch coming with the M1 is due to battery life. So someone on Twitter actually brought this up to me, but essentially, if the 14 inch MacBook Pro is similar in size to the 13 inch, which of course does seem likely, then if Apple wants to achieve the same battery life, they can't increase the number of cores because a more power consuming chip is obviously gonna eat into battery life and having the higher end models with worse battery life than their entry level models doesn't really make a lot of sense. Of course, this won't be an issue on the 16 inch because it has a humongous battery in the first place, but the 14 inch probably sharing components with the existing 13 inch platform means that of course, battery life could take a dip with the M1X and that could be an issue for a lot of consumers. And so yes, ultimately if Apple wants to maintain the same battery life they offer right now with the 13 inch M1 Pro, then surely they have to keep some form of the M1 chip and pretty much the same architecture and efficiency. My final point, however, is down to differentiation. So obviously Apple wants people buying the 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's their golden jewel in the MacBook lineup. And so obviously they're gonna make the other machines in a way that upsells you to the 16 inch model. And so I do think that maybe the big upsell with the 16 inch will be the M1X chip. Maybe that could be exclusive to the bigger model because I think a lot of consumers and enthusiasts and prosumers who prefer having as much power as possible will also appreciate having the bigger size. And so I think a lot of people might go for the 16 inch instead. And again, like I said, because it's a bigger size, you don't compromise on battery life, you're getting that performance, and of course, being a bigger machine, it has better thermals. Overall, it might just handle the performance a tad better than the 14 inch MacBook Pro. And yes, I know this sounds very wacky to some of you, but I think this makes somewhat of a sense because the M1 machines are very powerful. The M1 chip is incredibly powerful. Its single core score is up there with some of Apple's most powerful Intel machines. So it's clearly no slouch and it can be in a pro level computer like the 14 inch MacBook Pro. I think the only issue with the strategy that makes it, I guess, more unlikely is the fact that of course, if Apple gives the M1 to pretty much most of their MacBook lineup, then what's the point in going for the 13 inch or 14 inch MacBook Pro when you can get the Air with pretty much the same-ish performance? That is a very valid argument, I can't lie. And so maybe Apple will give us chip upgrades within each model like they have on their Intel machines. So maybe for $100 extra, you could get the M1X if you want to, but for most consumers, the M1 will be more than capable. Though with that being said, I guess at the same time, there are a number of reasons to go for the 14 inch, even if it came with an M1. For example, the huge redesign, mini LED, more ports, MagSafe, the lack of a touch bar. There are numerous upgrades even without a chip upgrade. And so, yeah, I think I would totally be fine with that. Of course, this is a theory at the end of the day. I'm just discussing possibilities. Don't take this as confirms info. Anything can happen. And so ultimately we have to wait and see. But tell me in the comments below, would you be fine with a 14 inch redesign if it came with the same old M1? Because personally, I think I would be completely fine with that, especially if prices were pretty similar to what they are right now. So yeah. I would totally be down with this, but tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell notification for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out a video here in the icon above about Apple's upcoming $3,000 VR headset. 
that one is pretty interesting. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.